Hey guys, Molly Marie here of Booty Shorts, and today I wanna show you guys how to get great facial expressions every time with your boudoir photography clients. And as I'm talking and going over exactly how to do this, be sure to um, write any questions in the chat box. I'd be happy to answer anything regarding boudoir photography, um, better expressions, better shooting, things like that. Also, be sure if you're enjoying this to double tap the screen to give me those beautiful little hearts. I would absolutely appreciate it. And again, my name is Molly Marie of Booty Shorts. Thanks guys, loving the hearts. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get really, really good facial expressions every single time with your boudoir photography clients. And this is exactly how I've been doing it for years. People always ask me, they're like, oh, oh, hello, <laughs> hello there. Um, people always ask me, they're like, hey, you know, I get people that come in and they wanna make like duck lips and that, and I don't really know how to control how to get good facial expressions because they just do what they want. And the answer is that I don't even give them time to think about how they want to do it because I'm already bossing them around in a good way, in a good way. Um, but I'll show you guys exactly the steps that I do. Um, so again, if you're watching, I'm going to show you guys how to get great facial expressions every time. Um, <laughs> Preach um, for your boudoir photography clients. And before I get started, I want to tell you guys a little bit about me. My name's Molly Marie, and I own Molly Marie Photography in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I've been a photographer for the past nine years. Holy crap. Yes, you can make a living at this. You can make a great living at this full time. For the last nine years, I have been a full time photographer. I didn't work for anyone else but myself. Hallelujah. Um, so, all right, let's get started. So the first thing I do is after the client is already done with their hair and makeup, thank you for the hearts, loving it. Um, they have their awesome, you know, outfits on and everything. I bring them over to the first set that we're going to start. And I always have them start with the, with the same facial expression. And that is, I ask them to, once I've posed them, I ask them to close their eyes, to part their lips and take a really deep breath in and out. <sighs> Just like that. And I'll tell you what I do next, but the reason I do this is because they, if they're nervous, um, or even if they're not, they are going to feel a lot more comfortable um, with their eyes closed because they're not gonna be looking at your big scary camera, okay? And I promise this really, really works. So, um, all right, so the next thing I do is once they have their eyes closed and their lips parted, I have them take a deep breath in and out. <sighs> And then I have them look up at my lens. And while they're taking the deep breath in and out, I say, okay, now now slowly with your eyes, look up at my lens. And as you can see, I am telling them exactly what to do so that they don't even have time to think about duck lips or whatever kind of facial expression that they want to make. I am guiding them the entire time through the facial expression. And again, um, if you're just tuning in, my name is Molly Marie of Booty Shorts, and I'm just showing you guys how to get great facial expressions for your boudoir clients. Loving the hearts, you guys. Keep them coming. Tappity tap tap. It's super fun. Um, all right, so the next thing that I have them do after I have them um, close their eyes, take a deep breath in and out, slowly go put the lens. Then when I snap the picture to get that really great sexy look, you know, the um, non-smile look, then I say, okay, now give me a little smile. And then I say, all right, now big smile. And that's kind of how I get the three looks. And what I do is, um, you know, once I have them pose, I have them do that same kind of, um, you know, the same steps, like the no smile, the little smile, and the big smile. I have them do that over and over and over again, and they get really, really good at it. And my clients tell me, you know, I really love that you tell me exactly what to do, because my clients are not models. These are real women. They are coming to me to look fabulous. And they don't care what they have to do to look fabulous. Um, they want me to tell them exactly what to do. Yes, exactly. Blue Lips 2012. I do not have my glasses on. Sorry, I could hardly read that. That's awesome. Um, yes. Yeah, so, um, all right. Before I tell you a little bit more about <laughs> how I um, get good facial expressions, let me know if you guys have any questions at all regarding facial expressions, maybe some things that you have had a client do and maybe how that I could help you remedy that. Um, so another thing that I do is if I'm having a really nervous client or a really stiff client, um, I will have them do this super, super silly thing. And this is exactly what I have them do. Um, 
I will say, all right, what I want you to do is just shake it out, shake it out. And I'll even say, um, all right, I want you to close your eyes, take a deep breath in and out, open your eyes. And then I'll say, and go like this. And they're always like, what? I don't want to do that. And I'm like, don't worry. I won't take a photo of it. I won't take a photo of it. But I promise you'll look really, really good. Your smile will look more natural. The thing that is going to happen is if you have them hold their smile, it's going to get creepy. <laughs> it's going to get super creepy and like not natural. So you have to have them moving. You have to have them doing certain things, um, brrr, you know, like laughing and really loosening up. Um, so yeah, if you guys are liking this, tapity tap the screen for some hearts. Uh, the more hearts that I get, how that works on Periscope is the more hearts that I get, um, it will go viral and more people will be able to see the training. And so that's pretty awesome. Also, if you guys have any questions uh, regarding boudoir photography, let me know in the chat box. I would love to hear from you. Also, where is everyone who's tuning in? Where are you from? Let me know. Let me know in the chat box. I'd love to see um, where you guys are from. So all right, more about facial expressions. So um, yes, I will have them kind of go through the same looks, the closed eyes, the little smile, the big smile. And as you start doing this more and more, your clients will start to really have fun with it and kind of, they will know even before you say it now, exactly what facial expression you want next. And it's fantastic. So before I do the facial, facial expressions, what I do is I will get them in the pose first. Texas, hello, welcome. I'm from Wisconsin. Woohoo. Um, I bet it's a lot warmer there <laughs> for you than it is here. All right. So, um, I usually Metro Atlanta. Love it. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if I could give you guys hearts, I would. I love tapping that screen. So, um, I have a, let's see here. I have a, um, an ottoman that's like tufted. I also am on my boudoir bed set right now. And uh, this is another set that I shoot on. And so before, would you guys like to see more of the studio? Does that interest you? Let me know um, in the comments and I can give you a little tour. Um, but yeah, before I do the facial expressions, <laughs> sure, boo, um, I will pose them first. And so I will pose them either on the ottoman or the bed or standing or maybe on a rug. Um, I have a lot of different sets. My studio actually is only like six or 800 square feet. It's really small, but you don't need a lot. That's the thing. Um, my studio is even in my home. I have had every type of studio. I have shot in hotels. I've had a commercial studio and now I shoot at home. You just have to think about what's going to work for your business. And I actually just wrote about this on my blog. It's bootyshorts.com slash blog. And um, the title is why I think commercial studios are a waste of money. But I will say that I think that you have to do what works for you. So what I mean by that title is if you can have a home studio, yes, it's going to save you money. Um, it's going to be a better option for you. So um, go check out that article. I actually have a breakdown of all the prices too, different prices um, about what the cost is going to be. Let's see. Um, someone says, agreed. I follow it. I have plenty of room in my basement for a home studio. Perfect. Um, I mean, yeah, when I had my commercial studio, it's because I was living in an apartment and I didn't have room to have a studio anywhere else. And so a commercial studio was great at the time. However, when I broke down the costs and when I bought my house, I thought, why don't I just have my boudoir studio in my house? And it ended up saving me something like eight, ten thousand $10,000, something like that. It's in the blog post. Um, but yeah, if you can have it in your home studio, I think it's a way, way, way better idea. And a lot of people are like, well, you know, I think that it's creepy to have it in your house or whatever. No, I really don't think that it is. And in fact, I actually have a testimonial from one of my clients on my blog saying how she liked it in my home and she liked the experience. And, you know, so I think a lot of times we think about more what other photographers will think of us more than what our clients will think of us. And as long as you're providing a good service and great photographs, your clients are going to love you and they're not going to give a shit, I said it, where your studio is located. You have to give them a great experience, great portraits, um, make them feel comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, chest bump. Um, make them feel comfortable. Make them feel beautiful, which is really what you're doing. I mean, think about yourself. Now, if you, and for ex another example is I've been in business for a while. I have lots of great, um, I have lots of great testimonials on my website and things like that. So 
you know, I have the experience to back it up. It's not like they're just coming into my basement and they know nothing about me. You know, I've, I've emailed with these people. Um, I give them my address. I mean, they're more than welcome to drive by and see that I am not a creeper. <laughs> um, you know, and the other thing too is like my stu my commercial studio that I had before this, um, was actually in a neighborhood. Even though it was a commercial space, it was in a neighborhood. And so it actually sort of looked like a house. And that's really when I started to get thinking, you know, why does it matter if it's commercial, you know, stuff like that. The other thing, though, is one thing to keep in mind is about hair and makeup. Are you guys interested at all to hear about hair and makeup and what kinds of things? Loving the hearts, loving the hearts, bring them on. Um, are you guys interested in hearing about you know, how to get a makeup artist and what the legalities of that are, comment below. Um, otherwise, I'd be happy to talk more about studio spaces and things like that. Let's see. Someone says, I'm familiar, but you can always learn something. Great. So um, I'll just tell you guys some things that I learned over the years with having a makeup artist. So, um, all right. So one thing that I learned is when you have a commercial studio, you can have a hair and makeup artist come in and keep in mind, this is for Wisconsin where I live. So it might be different in your state, but you can have a um, makeup artist come in, but they have to have a salon or you have to have a salon license and they have to have a manager's license. So you have to have, you have to be licensed um, if you have a commercial space. Um, if you have a home studio, you really just can't even do hair and makeup in your space legally in Wisconsin. However, there are loopholes and there are other ways to do it. Um, I'm not advising you to do any of these things just because I'm not, you know, a legal representative of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but, but this is just my opinion. So, um, one thing you can do is, um... All right, what I do now that I have my home studio is I actually have my clients go to a salon before they come to me. And the salon is just a few blocks away from my home, so it's super convenient. Um, and that's one way that I get around it. I personally would not want to be responsible for all the legal things that go into hair and makeup and all that stuff. Um, and, and it's a lot easier with scheduling. I don't have to, you know, figure out where people need to be when. It's just like, hey, go here at this time. You know, I don't have to figure out the, not only the client's schedule, but also the hair and makeup artist and all that kind of stuff. I let the salon handle it. The great thing is, too, let's say you have a day where your hair and makeup artist is late or they don't show up. Well, if you're sending them to a salon, they are going to have backup people. They are responsible for that. Um, so you're covered. You don't have to worry about your makeup artist being late or not showing. They got your back, right? Um, so that's kind of some of the things that I've learned. Um... Let's see here. Do do do. So, um, all right, more facial expression things. Um, you once you kind of nailed the facial expressions that I talked to you guys about earlier, um, you can kind of play around with it a little bit. You can maybe have them bite the inside of their lip. <laughs> that was not sexy. It's hard to do that while I'm talking. Um, you can have them, you know, pull on a strap and kind of give you like a side look, stuff like that. Um, you know, you can really start to play around with it. But I think the important thing is to always start with the facial expression of their eyes looking down or closed and then snap that, then eyes open no smile, then little smile, then big smile. Because again, they're going to feel a lot more comfortable not having to look into your big scary camera right away. They're going to be able to look look away and do exactly what you say. So, um, all right. I see that there are three people on right now. And I want you guys to tell me where you're from. I'm really interested. And um, at, let me know if you have any questions about boudoir as well. I want to hear it. Um, ooh, it's getting really sunny out. And okay, here's the thing. I'm so I'm in my studio. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. And I don't know if you can see this, but this is my boudoir bed. And I'm just actually my studio is in a basement, in a home basement. Um <laughs> so it's like you can do boudoir, you can shoot boudoir anywhere, anywhere at all that you see fit. Um you just, like I said, you have to make it a professional experience, give them great photographs, and 
make sure that they have a great time and feel beautiful. So, all right, if no one has any other questions, I'm going to head on out. Um, I hope you guys liked this and um, stay tuned and make sure you follow me on Periscope for more free boudoir live trainings. All right, I will talk with you guys soon. This is Molly Marie of Booty Shorts and I should mention that I do have free training materials on my website. It's booty, B-O-U-D-I-E, shorts.com. Thank you for the hearts. I love it. Um, I have a free video. <laughs> Bye, boo. <laughs> love you too. Um, free video on how to have good pricing, a free video on good sales, free posing guide, all these kinds of things. Check them out at bootyshorts.com and I will chat with you guys on Periscope again soon. Peace out. Love you. Bye.